Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the MyTouch 1.2, which is the MyTouch with the 3.5mm jack on it, and the Fender MyTouch. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spelled like that in the address bar, and then search for our How to Root the MyTouch 1.2 procedure. Okay, before we begin, the first things you need to do is set up ADB and create a gold card. Um, we have a link right there. If you just click on that, it'll take you to our other procedure on how to create a gold card. At the beginning of that procedure is how to set up ADB as well. So just follow those two procedures. Once you're all set and you have your gold card ready, uh, then you can come back to this procedure and we can continue. Okay, so now that we've created a gold card and our phone can also be seen by our computer through ADB, um, we're going to put the gold card into the phone and then we are going to download the sapimg.zip file here. Okay, so now we download the sapimg.zip file uh, from the site. We are going to grab it, and leave it as .zip, do not unzip it, and pull it over to our newly created gold card. And let that transfer. Okay, now that we have the sapimg.zip on our gold card in our phone, we can turn off the phone. And then turn it back on by holding down volume down and power. And then give it a second, it should automatically try to find this sap img.zip. You'll see the bar on the right there, it's loading it up. Okay, eventually it should ask you, do you want to start update? Um, if it says wrong model ID or something like that, that means your gold card didn't work. You need to go back and try to recreate your gold card, then come back to this again. Um, mine says, do you want to start update? So we're just going to click yes and let it update. Okay, once it's gonna, done, it's going to ask you if you want to reboot the device. You're going to push the trackball to do so. Okay, so once the phone reboots, you'll notice that you have the magic home screen. You'll also notice that your touch screen doesn't work. Don't panic supposed to do that. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn off the phone by taking out the battery of course. And then we're going to turn it back on by holding down back and power. And this will get us into fast boot mode. Should say fast boot at the top of the screen and we can continue. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to download the stock MyTouch SPL and radio. So click the link here uh, and download that. Okay, so once we download it, we're going to right click it, extract all. And then just click extract. Okay, and now the two files that are inside are hboot.mb and the radio. So we're gonna select both of those, control C to copy. And then we're going to find our SDK folder and tools folder. And now in here, we're going to right click paste. Okay, so now you should see them in here. They're going to be in the same folder as your ADB program. So they need to be in the same place. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to download Amon Ra's recovery image for the phone. Um, and we're going to put it in the exact same place. Okay, so here it is. We're going to control C as well. Open up our Android SDK tools folder, right click, paste. Now you see it, it's right there. Okay. Okay, so now that we've done that, our phone still says fast boot on it. We're going to plug it in via USB cable. Okay, now the phone's plugged in with fast boot mode. We're going to open our command prompt. Okay, and we're going to type in what we need to type in. Okay, now we're going to type in what's written on the site. So C backslash. Android SDK slash tools. And then we're going to type in fast boot devices. Now you should see a serial come up like mine did. Now that means that the computer can see your phone in fast boot mode. That's good. Now we can continue. We'll type fast boot. 
flash radio, space radio, .img, hit enter. It is sending the radio, writing radio. Then we can type the next line. Sending H boot, writing H boot. Now we can type the next line. Fast boot. Flash recovery space recovery. Img. Sending recovery. Writing recovery. And that's that. Now, fast boot space reboot. I can bootloader. Okay, so once you hit enter, the phone should reboot back into fast food mode, and then we can continue. Okay, now we can turn off the phone by hitting menu. And now once it's off, we're gonna turn it back on into recovery mode this time by holding down power and home. And just keep holding it. Okay, and now we're here in Amon Ra's recovery image. Okay, now that we're in Amon Ra's recovery image, we're gonna scroll to USB MS toggle. Click on that, it should say enabled. Then we're gonna plug it in to the computer. Okay, so after we mount the USB, it'll pop up as a regular memory card on our computer here for now. You're gonna take the ROM that you want in the .zip format, slide it over and copy it to the root of your SD card. Don't put it inside any folders in your SD card, just on the SD card. And then we're gonna let that copy. Okay, once it's done copying, we can unplug it from the USB. And then we can push the trackball, or excuse me, push home to disable. Okay, and then we can click on flash zip from SD card. Click on the fender with root.zip. And then it says press home to confirm. Press home. And it should install the update. Okay, once it's done, it'll say SD card uh, complete install. Reboot the system by pushing on the trackball. Wait for it to boot up. Okay, once it reboots, you should be able to tap the Android and continue. Enjoy.